it's Dina with Simple and Soulful. Today's video is for non-design people who want to add beautiful branded photography to the blog posts on their Squarespace website. The first solution I want to share with you is called WordSwag. Now this is an application that you get on your smartphone. It's something you pay for but it's very inexpensive and with WordSwag basically you get to use their library of images or if you want to you can use your own images so if you have beautiful photography that you had taken you can um, link to your Dropbox or you can email the pictures to yourself to your phone basically you have to have a way to get that photo from your hard drive to your phone but like I said Dropbox or email works great and then you just I mean it's super easy to use really and truly you just select your photo and then and there are different ways you can drop text over the top of it and really it's just a matter of playing around with it when you're done with it it saves what you've created as a photo on your phone and you can email it to yourself email it to yourself in the actual size it'll ask you I'm gonna give you different size options but email it in the actual size and then you can just upload it to your site but if you don't want to go with word swag, I'm going to show you how to use Canva. So we're going to hop into my computer and take a look at that. Okay, here we go. So you'll need a Canva account. You'll need to create that. And then every time you come back to Canva, it will remember you. The reason that we're going through this whole process of making a branded image is we want a watermark on our photography that accompanies our blog posts because when that photo gets pinned or when that photo gets shared on your social media, we want to let people know where they can go to find more content like that. So we're going to keep this in pixels right here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to make this big. The beautiful thing is with your Squarespace site, Squarespace optimizes the image sizes. So you can make these big and beautiful. 1280 by 1000 is what I'm going to make this. Okay. This is our workspace on the right, and this is our library of fun things that we can play with uh, to put onto our workspace. So what I want to do is I want to upload my client's photo. So I'm going to go over here to upload. See here on the left. And next what I want to do is upload her photo. Now you can see I have it down here, but I'm going to show you how this works. You click the green upload your own images. So my photo is uploaded. I want to drag it onto my workspace. So I bring it over, obviously it's not the right size, but that's okay. I'm going to hold down the shift key on my computer. When you hold down the shift key and you resize something, it keeps your image proportional. So whenever you're resizing something, hold the shift key down and then drag that corner and that will keep it proportional. So now I've made sure the image takes up my whole workspace. When it comes to adding your watermark, if you have a watermark that your designer has created for you, you would upload that image the same way, click on the green button, but then you just drag it over on top of the photo and you'll see a little line. Look at that, I can make that perfectly centered. And look how pretty that looks. You want your watermark to not detract from the photo. You want it to be there. You want it to carry your brand through on your photography. And you want your URL on there. So like I said, when your image is shared, people know where to go to learn more about you. Now if you don't have a watermark that was created for you by a designer, you can create your own just by clicking on the text button. And this is very simple. There are. And then what you can do is you can go in here and you can change the text. You can even change the font to match your brand. You can change the colors. So Shyla's colors are purple. We're not gonna use this. I'm just showing you as an example. But um, you know, you can play around with Canva. It's really fun, really easy. But there you go, there's a really cool watermark. I would say as long as you stick with your color palette, as long as you use the fonts that are always consistent in your branding, and you use a simple design like something like this, I think you're, you're just fine. You can also add just words if you want to. Um, grab some copy up here. You can change the color of the copy. You can change for Shyla's brand. I love to use Montserrat hairline or light. I'm going to go with light because 
let's pretend this is the title of the blog post. Okay, um, this is a post called, I mean, obviously you would um, have an actual title here, but I'm not good at thinking stuff up on the fly, so we're just gonna pretend this is a fantastic title. You see, I changed the size of the font. I can bring this out. I can, if I want to, I can center this copy. I just click the down arrow. I can change it to uppercase. Looks great. Here I can center it. Come back over here. And we could have the title of the post here. Okay, when you have it exactly how you want it, you just, you could make sure you name it up here. Shyla's blog image. Done. And then you're going to click download and you're going to download it as an image. So now let's go into the back end of Shyla's Squarespace website and add that image. So you go to the post you're working on and you want to click on settings and you see I've already added an image here but then what you do is you click the insertion point, you go to image, you're going to add an image, we're going to go to our desktop, and this is my practice image, I'm going to grab that, but then be sure to name that image something, and what I usually do is I go down through the blog post, you know, if you watched my um, SEO video and downloaded my checklist, you know that you should have a keyword and a key, couple keyword phrases in here. So what I would do is look through the post, grab a keyword or a keyword phrase, and get that here. So let's say the keyword in this post was um, entrepreneurial experiments. So I'll do Shyla Hakala entrepreneurial experiments. Hit save. And there you have it. We've added that branded image to her blog post. So there you go. I hope you learned something new. I hope it was helpful. And if you have some simple tips for non-technical, non-design people for great, easy ways to brand images and photography uh, for one's blog and website, be sure to share them in the comments below. I think we all benefit when we work together and share. Otherwise, if you're new, come on over to simpleandsoulful.com, sign up for my e-letter, I send it out once a week, and it's really my authentic, honest <laughs> chronicles as a solo and soulfulpreneur. They're filled with how-tos, productivity tips, mindset tips, and just about anything I think that you'll need to not only enjoy what you do, but have an easier time doing it. So that's all for today. Take care.